Finally, Jimmy and Kim are reunited in Better Call Saul's gene timeline, sort of. Kim. Checking in on me. What took place during the confrontational phone call in Breaking Bad? It could have gone better when Gene called Kim on Better Call Saul. What could have happened and why would Gene destroy that innocent phone booth? Better Call Saul is finally addressing Kim Wexler's location during the time of Breaking Bad after five and a half seasons. She and Jimmy split up as a result of Howard's murder, as revealed in Fun and Games, and as a result, Ray Seahorn's character left town years before her ex-husband encountered Walter White and Jesse Pinkman. Then, Gene Takavik is caught up with in Better Phone Saul Season 6, Episode 11. He is on the date when he requested Francesca to call him from New Mexico. Francesca tells Gene about a call she got from Kim after hearing all about the D's movements. Kim, who knew Francesca was working as Saul Goodman's assistant, apparently learned of her ex-participation husband's in the Heisenberg case via news reports. When Gene hears about Kim's call and how she asked if he was okay, he decides to call back. Perhaps thanks to Mike Armantrot's investigative nouse, Gene already knows that Kim works at Palm Coast Sprinklers in Florida, not as a lawyer, one would assume. He contacts the company through an operator, asks for Kim Wexler, then shares an animated conversation with someone on the other end. Better Call Saul deliberately muffles the dialogue with traffic noise, leaving the audience guessing as to how the exchange actually played out. Why Better Call Saul didn't reveal Gene's phone call with Kim? Better Call Saul has kept Kim Wexler's fate hidden for so long, the audience can't help but feel as nervous as Gene when that phone starts ringing. By quickly pulling back and obscuring the ensuing conversation, Better Call Saul is deliberately tantalizing viewers who desperately want to know how the Jimmy and Kim storyline ends. Better Call Saul is already dropping two massive details in Season 6, Episode 11, confirming Kim is alive and living in Florida. Allowing the audience to hear Gene's conversation would feel like too much narrative payoff too early, with two whole episodes still remaining. Better Call Saul must surely be saving its Jimmy McGill and Kim Wexler reconciliation for the grand finale, stoking fever pitch anticipation for the eventual moment they cross paths after six long years estranged. This delightfully infuriating tactic also keeps Better Call Saul's biggest mystery alive until the very end. We know Kim is okay. We know she's selling sprinklers in Florida. But how does Kim feel about Jimmy McGill? More importantly, how does she feel about Saul Goodman after hearing all the awful horrors her ex-husband committed with Heisenberg? By keeping all details of Jean's conversation under wraps, those questions remain teasingly open-ended for now. Did Jean really speak to Kim? It's on a road, um... Why did he get so angry? There are two possible ways Jean's phone call plays out in Better Call Saul Season 6, Episode 11. 1. Kim blasts Saul Goodman as a murderous criminal who she no longer recognizes, then angrily demands he never call her again. 2. Jean asks for Kim, but she refuses to talk, leading to an argument with whichever poor Palm Coast Sprinklers employee picked up the phone. Out of the two options, the latter fits Jean's tempestuous reaction slightly better. Kim would certainly feel disgusted by her ex-husband's actions, enough to check Francesca is okay, even, and probably wouldn't have many kind words for him. But if Kim really did spit venom over the phone, would Gene respond with anger himself? Given the respect he holds for Kim and the regret he feels about the Heisenberg situation, Gene is hardly in a position to act defensive. If Kim came on the line and yelled at him in disgust, Gene probably would have accepted the tongue lashing and been glad to hear Kim cared, at least. As such, Gene probably doesn't speak to Kim in Better Call Saul Season 6, Episode 11's phone booth scene. More likely, his request was met with she doesn't want to talk to you, and Jean blew up at the poor messenger, who'd be forgiven for hanging up. What Jean's call means for Kim's fate. Hi, I need a number in Florida. Better Call Saul Season 6, Episode 11 makes it clear that Kim has very negative feelings against Jean, regardless of whether they were expressed in an acrimonious conversation between Jean and his ex-wife, or in the form of a solid brick wall. Jimmy McGill and Kim Wexler split up amicably, and Kim later came to the conclusion that their union was a toxic destructive force that shouldn't exist. Now that they are no longer together, Kim is fully aware of Jimmy's exploits as Saul Goodman and how his dark side continued to deepen. In the Gene timeline of Better Call Saul, Kim might have asked Francesca if Jimmy was still alive, but it is clear that she has little interest in forging new relationships or rekindling old ones. If Better Call Saul is to end with a happy reunion, therefore, Gene needs to somehow prove he's a changed man. 
driving down to Florida with a bunch of gas station flowers isn't enough here, Jean must find a way to make Kim listen, then explain himself in a way that changes her mind.